hello everyone welcome back today in this video we are going to cancel the user subscription using laravel cashier so let's get started so in the previous video we added this uh, switcher into this uh, td and now the time is to add this uh, value here so i'm going to add a value attribute and uh, in this value attribute i'm going to assign this subscription name so this subscription name is coming from this subscription object so let me add this subscription and then i'm going to add this subscription name so let me add this name so i'm referencing this name let me show it to you so this one is a subscription table and this name contain this default so i'm uh, calling this default name okay or whatever whatever name you assign this okay so now this uh, uh, switcher contain this uh, subscription name and let me grab this uh, name here when i'm i clicked on this uh, i want to get the uh, you can say that it's a subscription name let me name this subscription name and here i'm going to get this uh, subscription name okay so this would be an id switcher dot well so well is a jquery function which is used to uh, grab the value from this it field so this uh, now we are getting this uh, subscription name and i want to pass this name to the server side so how i, how I can do this so when this uh, will be checked it will uh, we will send the request of resume and uh, when this is not checked we are going to send the cancel subscription request okay so we are going to perform this here so when our uh, our checkbox is not checked so let me uh, here we need to add uh, a jquery ajax call so let me copy the ajax call hope you are familiar with this so uh, ajax call so i'm not going to shoot this in this uh, video because so uh, our video will be going uh, longer that's why i'm copying this code and uh, pasting it here okay let me remove the some um, extra stuff from there so it's a uh, error method and this would be a uh, get to that's good and this one is also good okay so let me also copy this so ajax call i want to also send this here when user is checked so we will implement this later so let me comment this out for now okay here we are sending this uh, request on the user subscription so let me create first route and then i'm going to send this request okay so i'm going to subscription resume and subscription cancel route here uh, let me add this here so this would be uh, cancel and let me uh, add uh, a method name here cancel subscription okay and this would be a uh, subscription dot cancel okay so now our route is prepared let me also make this route for, for for next video okay make this resume and this will be also a resume so let's go to the subscription controller and uh, create this method okay let's go here this method would be the public public function and this would be a cancel subscription so here I'm going to implement this so uh, I'm going to get the plan so let me grab this request object here so this would be a request okay my text editor is not suggesting me so let's wait for a moment to complete this process okay it's done and here I'm going to return this request oops uh, it's not my uh, one keyboard button is not working that's why i'm facing a little bit too uh, complexity okay so here i'm printing this so uh, request all and let's go back on the on which page let me close the other extra tabs so we are in the index plate here okay so basically we are going to send this uh, request to on which route so which we created right now so it would be a subscription dot cancel so we are sending our request on this and this request type is get and we are going to send this uh, subscription status uh, not status this would be a subscription name okay let me pass this uh, name 
here and uh, I'm also going to remove this status around there okay let me also change this here and remove this status so I'm doing this for next video okay so here we are receiving this response here console dot uh, log and here I'm going to print this response so now let's go here and uh, let's check that we are our script is working or not so let's go here and give it a refresh so when we check this uh, button so it's not going to work but when we uh, clicked on it again so it will return the false and uh, it says resume let me fix this issue user dot subscription dot resume not find okay so it's uh, basically it's pointing the commented jquery line so let me go there so it's printing like this so not user it should be a subscription dot resume okay uh, and in jquery code uh, this uh, commit is not working so make sure that you are commenting it in a right form okay it's still not working let me hot reload this again and yes now it's working so i'm going to click on it again so it's still loading so let's wait for a moment okay so i clicked on it so it's turned on so when i, I will click uh, on it again so it's going to turn off and send our request okay turned off and uh, yes now it's uh, returning the subscription default so where it's returning from it's returning from the server side so let me open the network tab let's click on this cancel and it's returning the subscription default so it's returning it from this controller so here we are returning this request to all so it means that we are getting this uh, name here so let me grab this exact name from there so i'm sending this subscription name so let me grab this subscription name from there here and remove this uh, bracket from there and save this into a variable subscription name equal like this okay and then i'm going to call this if uh, mm, if this subscription name okay then i'm going to do what i'm going to uh, let me go here and uh, when i'm going to get this subscription name i want to search this into the uh, let me go to the cache documentation so i need to grab the user object and then i need to check this subscription and then call this method so first of uh, i need to grab the login user so login user would be this uh, auth user and uh, here i'm going to call this user uh, oops why i am typing this you here uh, and uh, here i need to call this subscription method so it's basically it's available on the cashier and uh, here we need to pass the subscription name which we are getting from this ajax call let me copy this and uh, paste it here and then call this cancel cancel method which exists on the laravel cashier and then after this you need to return this success method okay uh, i'm going to get this so subscription is cancelled okay let me add this semicolon here and now let me go back why i'm doing uh, no i'm not doing any mistake so let's go here and give it a refresh so now when the uh, laravel will cancel this subscription so it set this so it ends at column so it's filled up with the date so let's uh, try it that to uh, our, our this uh, logic is cancelling our subscription or not so let's turn on this and click on it again so it's uh, what it's going to return and it says that subscription is cancelled so it means that our code is worked successfully so let's give it a refresh and this ends at column will be filled up with the date uh, which is which would be a subscription ending date so let's get refresh and yes now this ends at column is filled up with the date 26 10 right so it means that uh, we successfully cancelled our subscription so 
uh, in the next video we are going to uh, do the resume the subscription but before going to the next one you can also uh, check that uh, uh, this is the uh, 610 right so how you can uh, check that user is on the grace period so grace period is mean that user subscription is cancelled but their days are remaining so you can check this uh, like this uh, subscription default and check this uh, call this method on grace so this will check that user is on the grace period or not and you can also uh, terminate the immediately a user subscription using this call now method and there is one more method which is uh, cancel now invoice and you can call the immediately user subscription and generate the invoice from this method again you can also set the uh, set days uh, whenever on after 10 days or 5 days you can uh, it will automatically cancel the user subscription so hope you uh, get an idea that how you can cancel the user subscription so in the next video we are going to resume the user subscription so i will meet you in the next one bye bye